In this video, we're going to be measuring capacitors in series and in parallel. Now we're going to be mostly using capacitors of this size here. This is 470 microfarad and can be charged up to 50 volts. Now this is a polarized capacitor. This is electrolytic, which means this side needs to always have a more negative charge than this side. And this side has some little dashes here for the negative and the arrow pointing down to the pin. Now we also have this multimeter. This multimeter can measure capacitance. It's shown in this symbol. Not all multimeters can measure capacitance. So if you want one that can measure capacitance, make sure you uh, see that before you buy it, that it can in fact do so. So now, microfarads, that's one millionth of a farad. So if this was one microfarad, you would need one million of these to equal a farad. This one has 470 farad. And that tells you how much this will charge for every single volt you put on here. And you can put up to 50 volts on there. So now, when I'm making this video, remember these say they're 470 microfarad. Now, they are really close within a few percentage points as I'll show here. This one measures to a 496.5 microfarad and then this one measures to 466 microfarad. So one's a bit higher than 470, one's a bit lower than 470, but they're both close. So remember that when we're looking at the measurements that the math won't come out uh, even to 470 in whatever fractions or multiples we come up with. It'll always be a little bit off. So now I took those same two capacitors and I put them in parallel. And that means the positive of both of these capacitors are connected. They're on the same row. And then the negative of these two capacitors are also connected. They're on the same row. So now as I mentioned, these are rated for 470 microfarad, but one's a bit higher, one's a bit lower, so they even out to about 480 microfarad. And when we measure this, which is now measuring the two of them together, we have 960 microfarad. So when you put these in parallel, the capacitance basically just adds up and if they're all the same value then you know it's multiples you know if you got five of them and they're all rated at the same value you'll have five times the capacitance and they all will have the same voltage that's whatever the voltage of the power source that charges them up to will be and so parallel is pretty simple there's really not much more we have to add to that. Just remember if they're in parallel the capacitance will add up and your main concern is the voltage. If you have a capacitor that can't handle a certain voltage that's as high as you can charge all of them because they'll all have equal voltage. So now I got these in series. As you can see the negative side of this top capacitor is connected directly to the positive side of this capacitor and then so when we give it a charge negative will be down here negative black positive will be on top and so whenever you charge series capacitors the current goes through both of them equally these are equal size capacitors so the math works out really easy as I mentioned these are rated for 470 but when you average out these two they're about uh, 480 microfarad so here you see and that's for a nanofarad, it's not measuring anything but kind of what's in the air. And uh, <clears throat> so nano is one billionth with a B. When I measure this, you'll see this change to kind of like a U looking thing. That's mu for microfarad. So anyways, as I said, these are about 480 microfarad each. But now when we measure it, you see that it's about 240 microfarad. So it got cut in half. That's with the two of them. But now, the capacitance went down with the two of them, but 
these are both rated for 50 volts as I showed you earlier and now you can apply 100 volts to these so you can add twice the voltage so even though the capacitance went down in half compared to one of these now you can double the voltage and so it evens out a bit if you can apply that much voltage now I have a third capacitor here this one the positive side is connected to the negative side of this capacitor and so now there's three of them in series and when we take a measurement you see that now it's about 160 microfarad it drops down to about a third of one of these so as you keep adding them in series the capacitance goes down and if they're equal value it's really easy it's just a fraction of uh, one of them by themselves so now we're gonna measure voltage I have the voltmeter or the multimeter set to measure voltage to begin with we're gonna take the 9 volt battery and give the three capacitors in series a 9 volt charge just by connecting the two in. Now you can do this with smaller capacitors if you have large capacitors or super capacitors don't apply power directly to them like that but uh, these are small enough it's okay so now we will measure the voltage between the three of them so now you see it's above nine volts it charged up to the voltage of the battery which was above nine now if I measure just this one capacitor you see it's about three volts that's a third of the total voltage from the battery now let's do the one on the other end and you'll see again it's also about three volts now notice too that uh, they're not equal that one's three volts slightly above three volts and this one was if you remember slightly below three volts to begin with and they're dropping and so when they're in series that's one thing to be aware of that they don't charge evenly for various reasons so that's something to be aware of you have to be careful but as you can see we applied nine volts and each one only had three volts so for these capacitors there's there's plenty of room for air you don't have to worry about but with other ones when you're charging them if uh, the voltage gets above what they're rated on any of them that's bad for that particular component but as you notice we applied nine volts each one only got about three volts so that's why you can charge series capacitors to a higher voltage than the rating we're going to be measuring capacitance again and so we don't want a voltage on the capacitors so using this probe I'm just gonna short circuit the capacitor now again you only want to do this with these small value capacitors even uh, this small might not be good for it but that'll short circuit it and drain it so now we're gonna throw in a 220 microfarad capacitor that's as close to half of 470 as I can get and uh, we'll take a measurement they're in uh, parallel here so the negative of each is connected and the positive of each is connected and you'll see it gives a reading of a 710 microfarad so that's uh, the microfarads of the two of them added together and so that's really easy we'll move on to series now we have the 470 microfarad capacitor and the 220 microfarad capacitor in series and when we take a measurement you will see that it comes to about 160 microfarad now if you remember that was the same capacitance as three of these 470 microfarad capacitors in series so this almost took the place of two of these in series but we have one problem with voltage which I will cover next but also you will notice this one's rated for 220 and in series the capacitance is well below that as I said 160 so when you put them in series the capacitance is always lower than even the lowest capacitor no matter 
what size capacitors you're using. So the math gets complicated when you're using these. I'm trying to keep the math simple for this video. There's a lot more videos out there with the math if you're really interested in that. So now we're going to wrap this up by applying a 9 volt charge to these two capacitors like we did with the, the three 470 microfarad capacitors. And I have the multimeter now set to measure voltage and we'll quick give it a 9 volt charge and now again when we measure the two of them the voltage is almost 9 volts just shy of that but now if I just measure the little one you see it's almost 5 volts so that's more than half of the 9 volts and the bigger one you see it's less than 4 volts and so the smaller capacitors gain more voltage when you charge them in series than larger capacitors that's one of the reasons why they don't charge evenly which can be a problem now this little both of these capacitors can each hold a 50 volt charge and so the little one is only holding about uh, a 5 volt charge anyway so we have plenty of room to spare but uh, just remember that when you're charging in series the one with the, the least capacitance is going to take the higher voltage so you want to make sure you take that into account when you're you're charging them that you don't overcharge it and uh, doing tests like this are a good way to make sure when you actually put the circuit uh, together that uh, the voltage doesn't get too high on any capacitor